I just came back from the Reptile Expo and as you can see, I got a lot of new animals and I'm so excited to share it to you guys and let me know in the comments what you think about these animals. So let's start off by showing an animal that I think is so cool and kind of creepy, not gonna lie. And I held roaches before, but I'm gonna tell you, this is, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know guys, but look at this guys. How cool is this roach? So at the show we looked at them and we figured out that there is two males and <laughs> Okay, so they can't fly but they can hover so that was kind of creepy But yeah, these are like dubia roaches so they can't climb glass and they can only hover like you just saw uh, Which was perfect. So super excited for these guys to grow up and these are more of a pet not a feeder but if they are gonna breed a lot, which I hope. They might end up as a feeder, but as of now, they're just pets. There's two males, no, there's two females and one male. So super excited. And the next animal I got is these guys. And I don't know the name of them, so I'm gonna put that on the screen. It's a scientific name, but it's basically springtails, but red. And these guys are apparently more of a burrowing species. So they dig down under the substrate and clean on the, under there. And whenever you put food on the surface, they come up so they're really cool and you can keep them with regular springtails which is awesome drop a comment down below what you think about these guys and we're gonna move on to the next animal all right so the next animal is the pnegomantis medic okay i'm just gonna put that on the screen as well but it is a praying mantis and i had a mantis a long time ago i loved feeding it but it was a male it only lived like eight months or something like that uh, i'm pretty sure this is a male too but it's gonna grow a lot bigger and I'm super excited to have a mantis again, guys. I don't know if these guys are aggressive or uh, uh, defensive. So let's see if he wants to uh, uh, be held. I don't think he has wings, uh, but look at this guy. Oh my God, I hope he doesn't have wings because I don't want him to fly away here. But yeah, I'm super excited to show feeding videos with a praying mantis again. So that's gonna be featured on my channel in the future. And guys, I'm done with school in January. So I'm gonna have so much more time to post videos for you guys. Super, super cool. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Oh my god, he's so cool. Now let's get into the fun stuff. I got six new scorpions. Super exciting guys. So here we go. This is the scientific name again, but Centrodisgasi. Okay, it's on the screen somewhere. Uh, it's a tiny scorpion. Uh, it grows about the size of this. I don't know if you can see it, about this size, I think. Uh, and you can have them communal. I heard difference that you can keep them together right now as human house babies, but you should probably wait until they're adults. I heard that as well. So I'm gonna keep mine separated for as long as possible. And then I'm gonna put them together in a communal and hopefully we'll have babies. Super exciting guys. I'm gonna show whenever I set up their enclosures, I'm gonna update on the communal and hopefully I will update you on some babies. So moving on to the next animal. So this guy, I'm not gonna hold because this is a scorpion that is really, really venomous. This is the under... Yeah, on the screen, thank you. And it's the fat tail scorpion. That name I can pronounce. So this is the North, North uh, Morph, I think it's called. Uh, you can see right here. It is more of a yellow morph. Uh, super cool, I love the fat tail, guys. I've been eyeing these for a long time and I really want to pick one up. And I felt like this was a great time. Now I feel more secure working with scorpions and working with spiders and so on and so on. So I felt like I'm not really, like I have respect for it, but I'm not scared of it. And when you pass that step where you are not scared, but you have, you have, a, but you have respect, uh, then you can get the animal. So you don't want to get like a spider and be scared of it, but obviously you want to have a respect for it. Same goes with the scorpion, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna do a super cool setup for this, guys, and I'm super, super excited to share that with you guys. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. All right, so moving on to the last animal, which I think is the coolest and probably the most venomous. I think this one is more venomous than the yellow one I just showed. This is another fat tail uh, scorpion. This is the, yeah, I'm gonna put that on the screen. And let's just call it a fat tail scorpion. And this guy's a little bit bigger. He's black. And as you can see, he or she looks really, really fat. Look at this, guys. How amazing it is, dude. And again, I'm gonna do a setup for this, guys. And I can't wait to share that with you guys as well. I'm super excited to show when I'm gonna rehouse this dude into a new enclosure and show the setup and everything, same as the other animals. Ooh, 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 we don't want this guy to escape. 
I'm gonna put the lid on right there. But yeah, guys, if you're not a member in this channel, you can become a member for one dollar a month, and you get access to some behind the scenes videos, behind the scenes pictures, voting polls, and so on and so on. So for one dollar a month, become a member and join the Exotic Squad. And if you want to see the footage of me filming the whole entire show and going through every table to table to table, I have a video of that on my Swedish channel. is right there. If you have any questions, go and comment them down below in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.